I'm joined by Andriy Shapovalov of Stampstack, and Stampstack is a member of the UPU Consultative Committee. Tell me, Andre, what led to the decision to get involved in the UPU in this regard? Well, for us, this is an evolution of the relationship with the UPU, which started in 2020 when we joined the Dot Post group uh, as an associate member and uh, with our quite uh, very innovative, or you could say a cutting edge technology proposal to the UPU at that time. It gave us really an opportunity to get introduced to the industry players, to the designated postal operators, and that allowed us in that time over the past two years to build certain level of trust and acceptance by the postal operators. But Dude Post is still a more technological, cybersecurity, I would say focused uh, group within the UPU. And uh, uh, after uh, getting the, the information, the news about the uh, consultative committee opportunities for us, we definitely thought that this is the direction to go because we need to be heard wider and on a higher level. And this is what I expect that uh, the membership at the consultative committee will definitely help us to be, uh, to be heard by every postal operator uh, in a trusted way. And uh, uh, we definitely hope for a good business uh, development as well. So tell us a little bit about the te kind of technologies that your company works in. Well, Stamsduck is the vision that we have, and the, the, this is the vision that we're preaching to the to the postal industry, is to create. I mean, Stamps has a huge heritage, and this heritage can be monetized using the blockchain technology, the NFT so-called format, uh, uh, and and uh, with this, I would say, opportunity of a lifetime possibility, the posts have a possibility to establish a good revenue lines of the assets that's already shitting, uh, sitting on the shelf uh, for hundreds of years, uh, close to one million stamps. This all can be made into uh, digital format. And what we have offers on top of that is StampDuck is developing an entertaining and rewarding model for the collectors, because that's what technology allows compared to to the uh, uh, traditional stamp collecting, which is feasibly not possible to create any type of global contests or, or, or real systematic uh, uh, gaming opportunities, in other words. So it's an interesting combination there of a couple of things that we're struggling with in the postal sector, which is the idea of modernizing at the same time, keeping hold of that heritage, isn't it? Yes, because it, it's, it's cool. I mean, the heritage is great. You should not lose it. You should transform it and develop it further. Now, returning to the, uh, your membership of the Consultative Committee or the, the UPU Consultative Committee, tell us a bit about what you think you can contribute or what you, you even might be able to get out of being part of this, uh, this organization. Well, we were lucky in a, in a sense that there are six chapters within the, the Consultative Committee and Philately was n in none of them which tells me a lot how important the philately is to the postal industry, quote unquote. Uh, so this is exactly what we want to change. And, and we got, I would say, uh, a sub-chapter definition uh, within the direct marketing uh, uh, section. And uh, uh, our, we are now being, uh, I would say, uh, appointed as a, a rep rapporteur of the sub-chapter and this is the opportunity we want to use to drive the industry into believing again into philately, making it profitable and really creating a, in our humble estimation, $25 billion market in 10 years where everybody participates and where everybody uh, benefits from. Andrei Shapovalov from Stampstack, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.